Not Matthews, her name is Maddens. <sighs> It's Jay and I am here today with a review of The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. I recently read this book. I gave it a 4.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. I loved it. It was really good. Super thrilling. So I thought I would tell you my thoughts on it. So as per usual, I'm going to give a synopsis of the book and then I will talk about what I did and didn't like, characters, all that jazz, and then my overall thoughts of the book. So without further ado, let us get started. Three years ago, 21 year old Deanna Madden moved into apartment 6E and hasn't left since. After one gruesome night where she loses her entire family in a mass murder that her mother committed, she decides that she is going to lock herself in apartment 6E because she fears that she is a danger to society. She's constantly daydreaming about murdering anybody she comes into contact with, so because of this, she has not come into contact with anybody for three years. In order to make an income, she poses as 19-year-old Jessica Riley on webcam services, and when one of her clients becomes kind of weird with his requests of her. She thinks that he might be planning something revolving around a young girl named Annie, and she decides that she is determined to stop whatever he is planning. The book has been described as Dexter mixed with Fifty Shades of Grey, and like I 100% agree with that. It is such an awesome twist because I really enjoyed both of them. Like, Dexter is one of my favorite shows for the longest time, and Fifty Shades of Grey, like, it's all porn, but you know, it's like a guilty pleasure. You, you like it. Admit it, you liked Fifty Shades of Grey. I know you did. The book was so exciting. From the very first line, I could not put it down. I was constantly thinking about it if I did put it down and I just needed to know what happened with the story. I could not get enough of it. The plot was so unique and different from what I have read before. It was like an erotic thriller kind of thing and it was just really interesting to read. I instantly fell in love with the characters. They were all really complex and I just really liked how they were written. The book was both intense and touching all wrapped into one. It You wouldn't think it would be based on like the genre and what the story was about, but it was just so good. I loved Deanna as the main character. She was so funny and sarcastic, which is what I like in main characters. I know a lot of people probably find her annoying because of how sarcastic she is, but I love that in characters. It's really interesting reading through Deanna's point of view and her constant struggle with trying to keep the evil inside of her at bay because she knew that she was like a serial killer and that she was dangerous and a lot of other people kind of justify their serial killerness. Like Dexter was like, oh, I'm doing a good thing because I'm taking out the bad guys, but Deanna was like, no, killing is wrong, so I'm not gonna do it. And it was just really interesting to read from her perspective. I really liked it. By the end of the book, you really get a sense of hope that Deanna can do everything that she wants to do, even coming into contact with people. And it's just really nice to see how her character developed from being so scared to go outside to being able to, you know, live her life the way she wishes she can. I did drop half a star. I would have rated it 5 out of 5 stars, but there was so much sex scenes and I understand that that's her job. She is a cam girl and obviously there's going to be a bunch of sex scenes. But I got to the point where it was just so repetitive, I was like, where is the blood and murder? All I want is blood and murder, I don't want to hear about sex anymore, okay? Okay. You could really tell that the author put a lot of time and energy into researching all of the different fetishes and whatnot, and it was really interesting to learn about them. But there's just a lot of them. There's a lot of fetishes out there, people. A lot. And some of them are really creepy. The story is told in multiple point of views, and I think the author did a really good job with it. Sometimes with multiple point of views, it's kind of hard to follow, but I feel like this author did a really good job flowing everything nicely, and I really enjoyed it because multiple point of views are one of my favorite things in books. The shock factor of the book was definitely there. I was constantly sitting there with my mouth hanging open being like, wait, what? Like, what? Super enjoyable because most books are pretty predictable and I can tell what's happening, but with this book, I was constantly surprised. The book is also being made into a movie, which I think is going to be like really interesting because like there's so much sex, so it's going to be like Fifty Shades of Grey, but there's also murder, so it's going to be like Dexter and it's all just going to be so amazing and I'm actually so excited for the movie. I don't know when it's supposed to be released, but I'm going to go see it. 
I am. I definitely recommend going into the book blind. So this review probably didn't help you because I probably told you too much than I should have. But I went into the book knowing nothing, like absolutely nothing, so I think it shocked me more than if I did know something. So try to go into the book blind. I'm sorry that I'm telling you this at the end of the review. But this was my first AR tour book. I'm definitely going to pick up the sequel. I really enjoyed her writing. I thought it was really awesome. So overall, obviously, I really enjoyed the book. I definitely recommend it. I thought it was amazing and thrilling and suspenseful. So if you're into thrillers, definitely pick it up. But if you are under the age of 18, there's a lot of sex in it. So just beware. If you're not into the sexy, sexy times, don't pick up the book because you're going to be not very happy because it's a lot of it. Alright guys, so that was my review of The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! You and her constant trouble. That's supposed to be trouble and struggle all wrapped into one. So, trouble.